so hello everyone in this video we'll be creating a banking database uh, for that we have this beautiful blog so you can also explore this blog if you want to try it by yourself I'll be guiding you in uh, creating the banking database with the commands so let's understand this first of all there are different uh, tables which are uh, customer and then we have branch we have account then we have a transaction details and loan let's create all of them in mysql workbench so first of all you have to install my mysql workbench and it should be set up already if you don't so you can check out our other videos which mentions about mysql installation in your computer let's uh, open the local host connection let me just create a simple schema here uh, you can create uh, with the uh, create schema option or else you can create create database or create schema and you can specify the name of that if I do that you can see the command is successfully completed and you can see banking uh, DB is there now in here what I can do is I can uh, create this uh, tables which are there so you can see we have customer table let's copy the command and and we can just paste this command and let me just tell you what all these things are first of all this is the customer ID in which uh, the length is 6 so the maximum length and it will be a character what else we can add to modify or to basically uh, like make it more beautiful you can add uh, integer customer ID as well or else if you have a character based customer ID so you can provide that as well so the data type depends on you so whatever the data type you want to specify here you can specify then we have F name and then we have middle name and last name with the city of the customer and mobile number which should be maximum length should be 10 an occupation and DOB and DOB is the data type of date and here you can see that uh, I haven't provided uh, the not null keywords of the MySQL you can also specify if you want uh, any of the field to be required so in that case you can specify not null here right so with that uh, this F name will be mandatory whenever we'll be inserting any data so you can specify that as well to move uh, to add more uh, like constraints in that and at the end I have specified like the primary key which is uh, the customer ID and then uh, we are giving a constant name that is customer cust uh, customer customer ID PK so this constant you can specify it anything that you want uh, and then we are providing the primary key from our table which is this field customer ID now if I just uh, click on this uh, lightning icon which is for running the commands it should execute the query you can see uh, this is executed successfully if I refresh the page as you can see uh, the customer is created inside this test DB which I didn't want because uh, this uh, you can see this is in the bold uh, text which means this is currently selected so what I have to do is I have to select this table which I have like this database basically to create this table which is customer inside banking DB schema so what I can do is uh, I can double click on this you can see this is now selected and I can uh, collapse this and now if I run the query again so that this customer table will be uh, created inside the banking DB schema if I run it and if I refresh it you can see the query is, is executed and you can see the table is created so 
you can see the information about our table is given here and I can also right click and select the rows currently there are no data so that's why uh, nothing will be visible in here later on we'll be also inserting the data okay now we have created successfully our first table which is customer let's create the second table by just grabbing the command from the block or else you can see uh, the blog itself and from there you can uh, create everything by your by your own self so this will create the branch you can see this is executed similarly we have a count table let me just first make you understand what is this so branch as we know that every uh, bank has a branch and this BID is the branch ID and branch name and the city in which the branch is and we are making the primary key for this BID or the branch ID and then we can specify the account keyword or basically the account table if I run this one so it will also be created until I refresh you will not be able to see all the tables here branch account customer now in here you can see uh, there are more things than the normal uh, primary key we have also added customer ID and the branch ID as we know that an account belongs to a particular branch and a customer or to a customer basically in that we have specified the customer to which this account belongs to and the branch ID in which uh, the uh, the customers account is in and account also is having account number of six uh, six digits or basically length of six and then we are specifying the opening balance how much balance does the person have and opening date account opening date and account type whether it is a savings account or a current account and account status whether it is active or inactive and we are specifying the constants first the primary key the primary key is the account number itself because that will be unique for every account or for every person basically and then we have a foreign key for customer ID from the table customer ID you can see we are, we are referencing customer ID in this table to uh, the customer ID in the customer table and then same goes for the BID or the branch ID in this table we are referencing it to the branch uh, BID so this is already created if I just click on this table you can see uh, three things are highlighted and one is having the underline itself underline means this is a primary key and these two are bold which means they are foreign key now similarly we can create other tables let's go for the transaction details table I can copy this and just simply replace this one now you can see uh, okay let me just check what is wrong okay nothing is wrong it's just a warning I think let me just refresh it and you can see transaction details is also created in here also we have uh, one transaction number which is the primary key and then uh, the thing we are referencing is the account number itself so in which account number or when in which account we are having the transaction the that is we are referencing from the account table which we created just now and then uh, we are specifying other details like uh, date of transaction and medium of transaction transaction type and transaction amount and then after that we can specify the loan table or we can create this loan table and that will be it so our all tables will be created and now if I specify uh, now if I just refresh so loan table will also be created you can see we have the loan table which is having customer ID BID and loan amount in that also we have we are having the uh, the primary key which is nothing but the combination of uh, customer ID and BID as we can see this is a composite primary key which means uh, we are creating a, a primary key by combining two different uh, IDs or basically two different fields which is customer ID and BID customer ID is also uh, added as a foreign key from the customer table 
and BID is also added as a branch ID key in from the branch table and loan amount is just the amount that we are specifying uh, now our all tables are created in the next video we'll be uh, inserting some records as you can see we have already created and we'll be working on some other queries to test out our tables so we'll be performing all these queries like uh, or there are 10 problems that we'll be solving how uh, from this table from this banking database tables all all these tables from all these tables we'll be working on so let's meet in the next video thank you for watching